Let's just say you want to contact someone from LinkedIn. So usually what you do is you go and add the person as a connection. Hopefully that the person will accept your invitation to connect. And from there, you can get their email address, for example, underneath here. So now what if the person doesn't want to add you? So what you can do is you can actually find out their email address in a different way. So here's a very neat trick. First, you need to know the person's name. So you know that per this person's name is Adrian O. Idema, and his company is adgric.io. So that's the company's domain name. So chances are his email address might be adrian.idema at adgric.io or adrian at adgric.io. So how do we know that? So you can try and use the website called mailtester.com where you can verify whether Adrian's email is valid or not. So, so there are a few combinations that we could try. So let's try with adrian.edema at agri.io and click on check address. So let's see if this address is a valid email address, whether the email, whether the address is, is available. So you just wait for a while. So you see that this is a valid email address. It says here email is valid. So you know that this email address actually exists. And this is Adrian's email address. So that's how you find out email addresses from people on LinkedIn. Now let's try other combination. Let's just try other email address and let's try to do an invalid email address. So I'm going to change it to Adrian at agri.io and let's see if this email is available. So this email is valid as well. So probably he's using two kinds, two kinds of email, Adrian at agric and adrian.edema at agric. So I'm just going to try to show you an error here. So I'm just going to do a really weird email address. Hopefully you see a message saying here, email address is not valid. There you go. Email address does not exist on this server. So obviously this email is invalid. So sometimes you, this tool may not work for certain email servers and some email servers do work. So it really is more like a try and error thing. So nonetheless, this tool is a very good tool for you to use. And is of course it is free. Now let's try another profile here. Let's, this is the CEO of Cheddar, which is cheddar.com and his name is John Steinberg. So I'm going to copy his email uh, name here. And I'm going to check whether his email address is valid or what is his email address. So I'm going to try john.steinberg at cheddar.com. Click on check address. And it says that this is not a valid email address. So I'm going to change this to just john, for example. And it says it's not a valid email address as well. So most probably cheddar.com has blocked this checking mechanism that we are doing here. So sometimes you can check, sometimes you cannot check people's email addresses from here, from this tool. You can also try it again. Let's say just put j.steinberg this or like this. So maybe this tool doesn't work for this domain name, but it does work for other email or other domain names. So it's a good tool to use since it is a free tool. So that's how you check email addresses.